going on guys it's Jean and thank you so much for coming back to my youtube channel and if you're new welcome and make sure you subscribe so today I'm going to be showing you guys a muffin recipe that I once tried chocolate chip muffins so I'm going to be copying a recipe it's not my original recipe and I've put the link for the actual recipe right here so I'm going to be making half the quantity that she made so everything that she does in the video I'm going to half it you guys you feel me so anyway, it's gonna be so much fun. I've made it once before and it came out so good. So I hope that it actually comes out that good as well today. And yeah, let's get straight into it. I hope it doesn't back up. But if you're watching this video, then it means that we got it right. <laughs> Welcome to our kitchen. So as I said, the recipe that I'm going to be copying is somewhere up there once again. And I'm going to be having everything that she did. So if she uses one cup, I'll use half a cup ETC. And those things that will be hard to approximate you just try Najali Butus because she made 12 and I want to make 6 and I have halved them already and written them down on my phone so we're going to be using 1 cup of flour and I'm using the all purpose flour this is what I'm going to be using for a cup I'm seeing quite some particles in this flour so I'd advise you to sieve it but I'm not sieving it we're already in this we're already in this and this is just the Cadbury cocoa powder. It's usually unsweetened. Quarter cup of cocoa. And then next, we're going to be using half a tablespoon of baking powder. Nanatomia chapamandash. And a quarter tablespoon of baking soda. Okay, that's about a quarter. Quarter tablespoon of salt. Quarter cup of sugar. Looks a lot of that. That's what the recipe wanted. So that is it for our dry ingredients. So I've just been mixing these and I feel like I'm going to move it to a bigger tin so that I decrease spillage. So once you've mixed your dry ingredients, you're going to take a microwaveable bowl or plate. I don't have a bowl, so I'm going to be using a plate. And I'm going to be adding two and a half spoons of butter. So, and make sure you use, I think, I'm not sure whether it's a must, but unsalted butter. So I'm going to be using two and a half tablespoons of butter. So now, to this butter is where you add your cooking chocolate, but I don't have chocolate. Cooking chocolate, so I'm going to be using chocolate chips. And chocolate chips I usually buy from Naivas. I don't know if you can see, but it's just the normal chocolate chips. And even in the video that I'm copying, she used chocolate chips as well. So I'm just going to put a bit because I don't have that much and a little bit that's remaining I'm going to be using for the cupcakes themselves. So once you put this here, we're going to microwave this at 30 minutes. Hey, 30 minutes. 30 second interval. So you'll put it, then you mix it a little bit, you put it, then you mix it a little bit. Since my camera is here, I can't take it to the microwave, but I'll be coming back after the 30 seconds to, to show you what's up. So as the butter microwaves, we can chat a little bit and I just want to know how are you guys doing? How are you coping with the whole corona incident? Like, let me know. I know you're watching this and you're not planning to comment, but please do let me know how you're doing because I really want to know how has corona affected your daily life? Money, you know right now it's really tough financially because like money is going out and none is coming in. So let me know how you guys are doing. Yeah. This is me. Waiting for the... <laughs> this is what it looks like after the first 30 seconds. We mix it a little bit because you want the chocolate to melt as well. And then we are putting it back in for another 30 seconds. We'll mix then the last 30 seconds. Then I'll show you guys the final process. Melted my butter with the chocolate chips. And you just keep mixing it until they really mix well together. I'm going to bring you guys in closer when I'm in the final process so that you see nicely. So once you've gotten your dry ingredients and they're aside and your butter plus chocolate is aside, now we go to the wet ingredients. So I'm going to be using milk. So it's just slightly less than three quarter and I'd warmed it but now it's cooled down. So I'm putting that into a fresh container. And I'm going to be mixing this with one whole egg, because it says one whole egg in the other one, and now how do you have an egg? What like with the other half? Make sure you beat it aside so that in case it's spoiled, it's quite a good recipe. Job. Here we have one whole egg, and 
a teaspoon of vanilla essence. I was about to be my hair. Teaspoon of vanilla essence. So the vanilla essence and egg is here, but I'm just going to mix that with the milk. Yeah, a good smell is nanukia yani. I'm just going to beat this a little bit so that the flavors mix. And then right about now, I'm going to bring you guys in closer. Welcome to my personal space. So right now is where it gets really exciting. So I'm moving to Asphoria because I don't have anything bigger that's fancier so this dry ingredients you remember your flour your powder etc we're going to put that in there and mix it nicely i don't have a whisk or a mixer so i'm just going to use my hand just going to pour this in next Just mix it all up. So now, once you've mixed your dry ingredients with the butter and chocolate, you come in with the milk, vanilla extract, and what else did we put in here? Egg. I'm just going to be putting it in slowly in portions. Going to mix, 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 mix. If you had a mixer, it would be so much easier, but you gotta make do with what you have. So, this is what it currently looks like, and it has a little bit of bumps because I've put some chocolate chips on the inside. So I am back and my baking tray is all greased with the butter, especially the bottom. I made sure I get the bottom so that they don't stick. It's a thick paste and I don't have, you could use a scoop if you have one, but we don't have that around here, so. So if you'd like some icing on the cake, just adding some chocolate chips on the top. And I'm putting them towards the middle because when you bake them, they'll spread out. So now it is that time. We have an analog oven. So right now it is 7.56. So we're going to remove it at 8.16. Hi. <laughs> so I'm literally just going to chill here till they're ready, to be very honest. As I look at them and admire them. 20 minutes later. Oh, so this is the current situation and my friend has just told me as soon as you remove it from the oven you put it in a tin to trap moisture. So let me do that and then I will show you the final process. So I'm back after about uh, 20 minutes. So let us see the magic. I'm excited. I'm excited. Can you just Can you just look at this? <laughs> let me let me bring you guys over here. Let me bring you guys over here. So I am back. We have kept them in the tin and now let us see. Let us see. Sorry, I'm squatting. I feel like. <laughs> let us see how the inside looks. 
Can y'all see me? Ooh, it's almost perfect. Moment of truth. Mm. It tastes so good. I'm about to stop so that I can have the rest with ice cream because muffins plus ice cream equals to heaven. <laughs> it's true, ma'am. It tastes amazing, guys. I would definitely, definitely recommend that you try. So, if you came to cook with me today, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. If you tried this recipe, please uh, send me a photo or tag me. If you enjoyed and you want more cooking videos, let me know and I will definitely consider it. This has taken like three hours, but it's worth it. So if you like the video, make sure you drop a big thumbs up. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. We're almost at 2K, so please make sure you subscribe. And always remember to be you and stay true. Bye. Hey.